Hey guys, Red Llama here. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the B250C Bitcoin mining motherboard, which has 12 USB ports. And these ports are for the GPUs that you can attach to it. It has an LGA 1151 and it supports uh, DDR4 on this motherboard. So I got this motherboard from Newegg for $139. Another option where you can get this is Alibaba.com. Again, you can see up $75, $78 per piece. With that price, you still have to pay for shipping costs, which is about $88. So it's better to get more. So in my case, if I had went with this deal, I would have been spending $160 or so. But then it would be coming from overseas. So it'll be at least two weeks or even longer for me to receive it. So again, this was not an option for me, but it may be options for for you guys out there who are looking to buy a bunch of these in bulk so there is a few things you'll need to get and the first thing i got for this motherboard was the cpu and i didn't go overboard with this i just got a pentium processor a g4400 t that was more than enough for what i was going to be looking to mine you could probably find one for under 59 dollars or even lower from ebay the g44 100 non t could also be used for this and along with the cpu you also need a ram so i ended up just using uh eight gigabytes of ram i just got a g skill eight gigs and you can probably get those for around 30 dollars or so and if you just look around ebay you can probably get it even cheaper and for the the heat sink i just went with a standard intel cpu cooler you need to have four pins on here you're looking at about 244 dollars for this option and again you could probably get this a lot cheaper if you go with alibaba if you're looking to buy in bulk at this point i'm not we ordered it and we were able to get everything with under a week this motherboard does have a few options to it you can either use the usb 2 or usb 3 connections for a a drive to be used for hive os or you could also connect an ssd using the SATA port to it. And those SATA ports are located in the back of the motherboard. Try to use SATA, SATA 1. This motherboard also comes with an HDMI display port, internet. So for those who are not tech savvy, the, the way you install this is you first open the package, put the motherboard on the box, which is probably the best place to put it because you don't want to put it on a plastic table. You don't want to put anywhere where static could be drawn to this and shorted out. But the general assembly process of this was pretty straightforward. My four-year-old was able to do it. Basically put it on the top of the box. He put in the CPU. Well, he dropped in the CPU. Uh, put in the heatsink. Put in the RAM. Uh, put it onto the binding frame. The 12 GPU binding frame. And he screwed down all the six screws in there. This was pretty fast for him to do. Just because I was walking him through it. So we probably finished it within like 30 minutes. Now, if you try to take this motherboard and put it onto a, on a VETA frame, the situation might be a little different because those VETA frames, the positioning of those holes do not line up with this smaller profile motherboard. So just, that's one thing to note with this motherboard profile is slightly smaller. So when you're starting to put in other USB drives or USB connections into it, you have to support it underneath so you don't bend the board as you're placing those USBs. And as soon as you try to power everything on, one big indicator on this motherboard, if something's shorted, is if you have the internet cable in power on the motherboard, the internet port lights do not light up. If that's the case, that means that this board is shorted. Now there could be other issues to it or other reasons for it, but for my case, I had shorted it and I knew I had shorted it and it was dead. As I'm recording this January of uh, 2022, this deal may get better once we get deeper into the bear market. This, these prices, I believe will drop take a look at this board if you're considering getting into mining or considering consolidating your your rigs because because of the bear market coming up the pros on this motherboard is the low profile to it it's a really tiny motherboard to work with a lot of cpus could be used with this motherboard that are pretty cost efficient and you do not have to worry about the mini pcie connections to the motherboard just because in my experience those have been kind of annoying to work with if you're not perfectly lined up they do create some issues now stability on this motherboard has been pretty good i've had it on other rigs with 12 gpus and those have been pretty solid so overall 
my review of this motherboard has is as positive. It, I think it's a great motherboard for anyone who's looking to get into mining or planning to. It's easy to work with, very forgiving, uh, small profile, easy to do the connections to it and put this motherboard together and get it hashing right away. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Please hit the like button on this video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, if you guys want to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.